Oh, welcome to all replayers. So nice that you could be with us and catch up. I hope you enjoy enjoy the stream. And to everybody that's going to come in live, it's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday morning and I'm very pleased to be here. Oh, I will wait and see some people to come in. Caroline, I know that you may be on the replay. You can't be here live because you're having your treatment this week. I'm really sending you so much love and prayers, Caroline. Good morning, Janice. Good morning, Anne. It's Monday. <laughs> happy Monday. I'm always so happy that it's Monday because I can be here with you guys. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> oh, and I'm doing something and I'm out of frame. How's that for a start? <laughs> Donna, good morning. And Kimberly, oh, lovely. <laughs> How lovely, Mitzi. Hi, a big hi to you too, Mitzi. Oh, it's Monday. Oh, do you know, before I start for half an hour, I have all these, are you, if you stream, are you like this or is it just me? I know Laura says she is. I, I suddenly think, oh, I can't do it. And oh, I'm nervous. And now I'm here and oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Good morning, Janet. How are you? Oh, so lovely. It's Janet USA. <laughs> one Janet is not enough. We need we need um we need more than one Janet in our lives. Abigail, good morning. How are you? So nice to see you all. Oh, <laughs> yes, all is well. I have these little jitters thinking, can I do this? You know, it, oh dear. We are, Laura says this, aren't we silly in our little minds? And now I'm here. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm in heaven. I love it. Good morning, Nashwal. Oh, and Nashwal's giving blanket hugs to us all how lovely we've got hugs all the way from Egypt how lovely and hugs all the way from England to you guys in America and Egypt I love this I love this worldwide community I really do oh look at that <laughs> oh thank you Janet Janet's posting and I am creating. What's on everybody else's desk today? I'm, I know in the States you've just woken up. I know. Good morning, Jacqueline. Welcome. So nice to see you. I know you. if you're in the States, you've just woken up. So <laughs> good morning to you. You're just starting the day. So you probably haven't got anything on your desks at the moment. But what are your plans today? What's everybody creating? I'm making Franken paper. Now, this was someone's idea on this stream, or it might have been on someone else's str stream. Someone was saying, was it Eileen? I can't remember. Uh, oh, Violet. They were saying they were making Franken fabric. And I thought, oh, can I do that? Do you mind if I monkey that idea? And they said no. So I've sort of been doing my own thing here. Nashua's having a glue book day. Oh, Nashua. How lovely. Tell me uh, the sort of images you put. Are you, do you harvest magazines in, for your glue book? How lovely. We'd like to see a picture of that. Maybe if you emailed me, I could share that with the girls. I've never successfully shared your lovely fabric projects. 
I get a bit fingers and thumbs with the phone, don't I? Let me see if I can do that now. Let's see if I can share some of Nashua's gorgeous fabric projects. <laughs> oh, Janet, you're having a glue book day. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Gigi. Good morning, Marlene. <laughs> How nice to see you. You've been bitten by the glue bug book. Oh, bug. Oh, Nashua, magazines and painty papers. How lovely. I'm just looking up. I, it's not easy to multitask because I don't like to miss anything that's going on in chat. So let me see if I can search for your photos, Nashua, that you sent me. And I can show people. Good morning, Candy. Well, no, I can't. Nashua, what a shame. I, I might post a picture, if I may, on Beth's group of some of your fabric projects, Nashua. I've also been bitten by the glue book bug. I, oh, goodness me. I've got three, well, I've got two glue books on the go and two journals on the go at the moment and loving it. Oh, you, Candies, I am at PT, so just in the balcony right now. Okay, Candy, yes. I will wait till you um, arrive home and to show the happy mail that you gave me and what I've been doing with it. Very exciting. Candy, we're here to keep you company while you're waiting for PT. And I hope that goes really well. You've had a weekend rest from that, haven't you? And it's, yes, it's hard work. It's hard work for you, but worth it. Yes. Oh, Kimberly says, take care. See all these lovely people. We're all thinking about you, Candy. That's so lovely. Thank you, Janet. Jean, good morning. Oh, Jean, what I'm doing today was inspired by asking my swap partner for the uh, covers that we're making or little folders, whatever we want to use them for. I asked my partner, Jean Bainey, what she would like for her cover. And she said, oh, please, could I have the peacock size? And I said, yes, absolutely. Yes, you can, Jean. And she said, could I have an autumn theme? So I said, yes, you can have an autumn theme. And because I've got lots of snippets of fabric at the moment, I thought I would, was going to make you a Frankenstein, a fra like Franken paper, but it's Franken fabric. And I've stitched it to deli paper. You can hear that, can't you? And I'm going to stick it, I'm going to glue it and make it into your cover or wallet, or pocket, or journaling card, whatever you want to use that. So literally, oh, it's it's been such a joy to make. Uh, it's literally just, what I'm doing here, I'll demonstrate, just sewing gently, watching TV, or listening to, I like to listen to streams on the big TV. <laughs> Little heart there. Let me put it the right way up. Little heart and, and then I like to sew some beads and embellishments on it. Oh yeah, sorry you're seeing it, Jean. It's just a little bit of a demo. It's not gonna be a surprise now, is it? <laughs> oh, go to Jean's channel because she takes us for a beautiful ride, a long ride. What an enormous park 
you take us for an autumn ride. Absolutely beautiful, Jean. Nip over to Jean's channel and um, check out that autumn drive. Beautiful autumn colours. I should say fall because you call it fall, don't you? Yes, of course. So let, without further ado, I will go on to see how I made this. Let's glue this down. Let's see if it works. A little bit of an experiment. I don't like to, when I have a little idea, I'm sure nothing's new. Nothing's ever new, is it? I'm sure people have done this before, but I didn't want to look it up on YouTube because I didn't want to get influenced. I wanted to let my ideas flow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Nashua. Oh, you love doing fabric. It's just a way of... Yeah, I thought if it was all fabric, I could have stitched it fabric, but it would have been tricky to glue onto the card. So this was just, and deli paper, or if you haven't got, they have deli paper in the States, Nashua. It's, this is, but it's like grease proof paper or baking parchment. Same sort of thing. And now I'm going to use my fantastic Mod Podge. And let's see. Let's see if it works. I haven't experimented. And I wondered, gosh, is it going to fall to bits as I'm making it? I don't, I don't think so. Isn't it wonderful? Because it doesn't have to be neat on the back. It's not like we're embroidering a tablecloth for grandma's afternoon tea where people might look underneath and check out the embroidery. No, this isn't embroidery. It's just relax and sew. I'm not going to do that corner so I can just lift it up just in case people miss what I'm doing. And Jean, this will go in the post tomorrow. Some post is getting through, but uh, it can be quite slow, the post as well. Good morning, my Barb. Barbara, how are you? <laughs> oh, really nice to see you. I've been making Franken paper. I'll turn it over. This is my cover for Jean. Oh, I do want it to not be upside down. <laughs> but if it does go upside down, um, let's, yes, it doesn't matter. So pop it on like so. I was just saying, Barb, it's just a way of, so now the fabric's not all gluey from behind because we had a paper backing. <laughs> I'm actually... By George, I think it's worked. And I haven't got glue everywhere. Ah, ooh, Bob, have you noticed that the body coach, this is at our exercises that we do, at the body coach is put, putting up exercise classes three times a week during our lockdown for us. So, that's that's lovely. We've got some more exercise classes to do. Good morning, Kimberly. Now, we have two Kimberleys in the house. We have our Kimberly 557 and we have our Kimberly in the attic. So I don't know how I can distinguish you both when I talk to you. Um, Kimberly 557 is... Quite a mouthful, isn't it? I'm just going to trim it now. Yes, I've been making Franken paper. If you've just come in, oh, thank you. I'm. Do you know, Jean? I'm sure it's not. It's not a new idea. I tell you who I've seen 
I tell you this, I tell you who I've seen doing this. Our lovely Jersey did glue and don't think onto her brown paper with fabric, gluing the fabric on. Oh, good morning, Beth. You are up early. Gosh, how lovely, how lovely to see you. Oh, Gaylan, good morning. Really lovely to see you. Oh, how lovely. And there is my cover. You can, oh, I need to do some trimming. I won't trim those. Here we are. I'll let some of it hang over like that. You can always trim it yourself. Oh, hello, Nancy. Good morning. Nice to see you. Welcome. I'd just like to say happy Monday. Oh, I really do look forward. And Dawn, let's make a mess. Did she do that too? That, oh, Dawn made, I remember the franken paper swap in Dawn's group. Yes, that was fantastic. So I've just left it like this just for demonstration purposes for today. So that's what it looks like and we'll let that dry. Now, of course, Jean, when you, when you receive this, you can use it or give it away. Uh, do what you do what you will. Hmm. Franken pages with Dawn. Me too. She did Franken pa paper on an old map, didn't she? That was fantastic. Janet, it was someone in the chat here or somewhere else that was saying they were making Franken fabric. Can you remember who that was, Janet? Because I said, can I take the idea? And they said, yes. <laughs> so all that I've done, I've got some deli paper here. And I'm just sticking the fabric on just very, just instead of pinning it onto fabric, I'm just doing, just tacking it down with a tiny little bit of glue, glue stick. I've so, I'm overlapping it a bit, but if you don't, it doesn't matter because I think they'll all get caught in the end. This one, let me just tell you about this. This leaf that I put on, that was an old oven glove and it, it was burning me. It was it wasn't working anymore. The stuffing had all gone out of it. So I washed it and I cut, I cut it up and I, I got quite a few nice autumny bits from that. Ooh, Franken napkins. Was it Teresa Church? Maybe it was. Um, if someone comes in later or in the chat, they might, or in the replay, they might let me know. Oh, Franken napkins, that sounds gorgeous. We're all here to inspire one another. Oh, if you are having a glue day, a glue book day, that's Nashua and Janet. Oh, maybe you could make a, a Franken page or background. Super. Yeah, it doesn't have to be fabric. I'm just, because I've got a lot of fabric pieces around at the moment, that's why I'm using it. Because we've got the lovely ones that Melanie made here. That was made with paper. So you don't have to use fabric. And here's the lovely one that Mrs. Gigi Marlena made me. Made with paper. Gorgeous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Glue the napkins onto papers and cut out some squares. It would look beautiful. Oh, Janet, Janet's come. Oh, yes. And I love gluing napkins onto book pages or music paper because I like the, I like the words to show through. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh, that's a very good idea. Yes, Mrs. Gigi is going to try that. And tomorrow, 
afternoon for you, evening for me. Mrs. Gigi will be here again, live on her channel, and she will be... Um, one of the things she will be doing is her positive flower role game. She's made it up herself. It's like your one, the ones you've been doing, Beth, dear. And everybody's so enjoying your streams, Beth. Like the ones you've been doing. But it's roll a flower. And then you put a positive word by the flower. I love it. And I'm going to join in. And that's Tuesdays and Thursday afternoons. I'm not quite sure of the time. Maybe you would like to put a link up for your channel. Good morning, Dar. Nice to see you. Oh, really nice to see you. Very nice. I have got something to show you, Dar. I've been really enjoying making another little mini journal, positive quotes journal for you. And let me know if I can show it during our snack time. But if you have to go, let me know and I can show it any time. <laughs> oh, oh, Kimberly557. We can call you Kimmers. That's nice. Oh, Joyce, good morning. Thank you, Mrs. Gigi. Mrs. Gigi, I'm Marlena. That's the link to your channel. Thank you. And you put up when you're, when you're streaming. Oh, I've been catching Joyce on, on her lives too and really been enjoying them. Thank you. Joyce, you're a very talented artist. I love your pictures of girls that you do. I love them. Really lovely. If anybody's able to put a link up to Joyce's channel, I would very much appreciate that. That would be lovely. Thank you, Jana. <laughs> so, if you've just come in, I am making fabric franken paper paper because i'm going to sew onto deli paper so it's easy to stick it to paper or to make journal covers with card obviously if you want to make and i will be fabric journal covers you don't you don't have to do that you can use all fabric if you want to Good morning, Samantha. How are you? Nice to see you. Oh, welcome, welcome. So I just tacked these pieces of fabric down with a little bit of glue stick. And then all I need to do is find my pincushion. And I'm going to do multicolour because I've got, I find I've got lots of little bits and pieces to use up so that's what I'm going to do oh, I may as well fill this up because it's very relaxing do you know Beth I didn't thank you for reminding me about that uh, you are welcome to nag me a little bit about that Beth quite often I say to myself Oh, I must phone up the sewing machine repair guy. And then I forget. Time goes on. No, I haven't. I must phone. Could we iron the fabric onto freezer paper, then sew it? That should be good. Iron it onto freezer paper. Well, yes. Now, oh, I know where I've seen this done. Now, Daisy at Tsunami Rose, she irons it onto what she calls heat and bond paper and that would be ideal for hand sewing I'm not quite sure what it's like to put through the machine actually do you think heat and bond paper would be too stiff do you know I think the only way to 
try things is to have an experiment. Yes. Yeah, wax paper. Yes, wax paper. Try it with wax paper, What, whatever you've got, really. It's, yes, I just thought it would make it easier to, let me show you, to stick onto the fabric. I've left this bit just so people can see. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so nice to be here with you. Oh, good morning, Laura. Oh, yesterday afternoon, I was having, I was here and I had my glue books out. I had my glue book that Candy had sent me, my Marlena glue book and my, my, my recipe journal. I was having so much fun. And we had Queen on the Sonos. And I was singing away. I was at the table here. Freddie was happy in the chair. Oh, and, so, and then I went in to make supper. And I realised Laura had been live for three hours. And I just managed to catch the end of the stream. Oh, I thought, oh dear, never mind. But I've watched it on replay. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh. Now, good morning, God's creation, love. It's Tina. Oh, good morning, Tina. So nice to see you. Oh, we're starting the... Oh, <laughs> singing and gluing, I was. It was the Queen's greatest hits and I was singing and gluing along. I didn't, I, I think my phone was still in the bag from Freddie's walk, so... I didn't get the notification. Oh, dear. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Welcome, Tina. I don't know whether it's your first time, time here. I Forgive me if it isn't, and I've been very remiss. Oh. I'm, I'm doing some, making some fabric. Franken paper, if you've just come in. I've just tacked it down with a tiny bit of glue stick. And I'm, oh, this is, I'm going to enjoy reading the chat and sewing. Such a gentle, gentle pastime. Well, just like gluing, and gluing in your, in your books as well. Ah. Oh. Oh, how nice. Yes, we do. We're mixed media. We don't always work with fabric. We do a lot of gluing and mostly we chat, don't we? <laughs> it's the same when I go to my um, physical craft group. We call it Relax and Create. We, we don't do much. We don't go at the moment, but we don't do much crafting do we girls we if you're there in the background we 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 don't do much crafting but mostly we have cups of tea and chat and it's a bit like this here i love it we're starting the week off gently i think good morning dorinda oh dorinda how are you i watched your video where you were sharing some of the lovely papers you had bought from Amy. And yes, relax and create. And that's what we do here. This is an extension of that. We're just relaxing and creating together or just relaxing, letting, let other people create if you just want to relax. <laughs> Oh, I lost my thread. Easy to do, isn't it? My thread of conversation. <laughs> Maybe you could remind me. What? Oh, Dorinda, I was talking about your stream. You were showing the lovely papers from Amy at Hags Hollow. Absolutely beautiful papers. But you were so tired and you'd lost your phone. My heart went out to you. You had had such a busy week. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Tina. Really nice. 
I know, but you did, don't worry, Dorinda did find her phone in the end. And it was a lovely video you did. And, and also, you're videoing in the kitchen. And but, but we don't mind the, the family noises. I mean, if it wasn't lockdown, I'd have a lot more people in and out of this room. Yes, they are. She doesn't ship to the UK, though. Because I did look. <laughs> oh. But, but yes, they're lovely. Especially for you, Dorinda, because I know that you make lots of journals. Tina, I mean, we're not being, we're not being nosy, but, oh, maybe we are, but you don't have to tell us. But do you enjoy doing crafts or maybe you're at the a time where you're just enjoying listening? And that is fine because we've all been there. Sometimes it's it's our turn to just relax and just have the company. Do you know, Cheryl? Good morning. I I was talking and I saw you earlier, and I don't think I said good morning. Good morning, my dear Cheryl. Gosh, how are you? Now, how is it's Mary? How is Mary Beth? She's not here today. But what we did I hear on Laura's stream that she had an earthquake yesterday? Can you see me trying to struggle to thread the needle? But I I don't really mind because I'm just I don't really mind what I get done. Coffee in hand. Starting your week, Laura. Yes. Scheduling permits. I'm not quite sure what that means. Is that something to do with cold schooling or? Do you know, I'm not going to struggle with, with that. I am going to start another colour. Maybe find a thread that's a bit bigger. Look, this needle's nice and big. Oh, it's already got some thread on it, but I'm going to choose another colour. It's nice to have colour. Got a little rainbow here for Laura. Rhode Island and Massachusetts had four earthquakes. Gosh, well, gosh, our thoughts go out to everybody there. And... Mary Beth, our thoughts go out to you. I actually, Mary Beth was on your stream because I think yes, yesterday. So, not rate, not four rated for. Sorry, Candy. We don't really get earthquakes here. Very small tremors. So. Yes, I'm, I wasn't understanding. Yes, virtual school today. You have a science experiment. Oh, what f is, is that fun? I'm saying what fun, but maybe it isn't. Oh, ooh, tell us. Or don't, if you're trying to get ready, just have us on in the background. You don't have to enter into the chat. So, yes. Just a gentle bit of sewing. You can sit and then I get a little bit carried away with it. You don't have to. And then I just start to follow the patterns on the material. And especially when you're watching a video. Especially you like you've got Beth up on the big screen or Laura <laughs> up on the big screen. Oh, yes. Very fun. Very much hands on. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, we, we look forward to hearing about the um, your science experiment. And then, of course, he has to write it up, doesn't he? And he's probably, yeah, he's probably learning a lot from being at home. Oh, I, I suppose, thanks. I suppose they're telling you that they're, they're 
telling you what to do, aren't they? You don't have to make up the curriculum. Hmm. I know, Cheryl. Gosh. Me, I, I hope so too. Goodness. Everybody's enjoying your prompts, Cheryl, aren't they, on Beth's stream? Um, if you haven't watched Beth's replay, if you weren't there on Saturday evening, do watch Beth's replay for a full evening of painting, prompt games. Um, oh, remind me, gosh, so much. Using Cheryl's prompt cards. Do go, Beth, darling, do share your link. And, oh, was it Tuesday? On Tuesday, Beth was making her folder or journal cover. You were making yours on stream. Was it Tuesday? Well, who is your partner, Beth? You made two, didn't you? Let me look it up. Hold on. I've got it in my wonderful notebook here. Hold on a minute. If I can find it. Anyway, Beth had two part. It's there. Beth had two partners and you were making one. You So if you would like to share a link, it's about, is it, it's on Tuesdays or Thursdays one. You did, you gained a partner. Oh, you are good. You are good. What a good person you are. <laughs> it's about three hours in on the Tuesday or the Thursday. And there's and you do a lovely little demo, don't you? Making your folders or journal covers. And your little embellishment, your little cluster. Thank you for being part of that. Oh, thank you, Barbara. It, yes, if you've got any little snippets of fabric or just do, oh, Laura would stick on paper or brown paper or straight onto the cover using paper I did make some franken paper beth had some lovely bits of paper oh and you made your cluster didn't you beth to match your match your your cover and i thought oh what a good idea maybe i could do that mm, excellent idea Oh, we're talking about all oh, the sticker book. Oh, I've, I've, yes, I saw that. That's a lovely sticker book. It's by the same people that did the antiquarian one it's from Laura's stream. And this one's flowers. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, Laura does love stickers. Gail, good morning. Welcome. Come in, Gail. Join us. Oh, nice to see you. Do you know, Gail, I realise I've already said good morning to you. What am I like? I've already told people about your lovely video. What am I like? I'm, I'm giving you a double welcome. There we are. Giving you a double welcome. I don't think it can get better than that. <laughs> Oh, we've got two Janets and two Gales, Gail Ann and Gail T. How lovely. Yes, so this is just so lovely. And then you can cut bits out and add and add little sequins if you've got things and beads. And yes, it's just just so relaxing. And it's not sewing that has to be precise.
Oh, Kimberly. Kimberly's dog's called Beef. And see pictures of him on Twitter. How's Beef today? <laughs> oh, Teresa. Good morning. Were your ears burning, Teresa? We were just saying, Janet and I were just saying, was it you who was making Frank, Frank, Franken fabric the other day? Because I said, oh, I want to monkey that idea. And and that's, yeah, that's so I did. Good morning, Ben. <laughs> or good afternoon, should I say. I'm so used to talking to the girls from America, Ben. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm doing my fold my arms mother look now. <laughs> oh, you've actually remembered your mother's life this time, have you? <laughs> Even when I remind Ben, he goes upstairs and forgets. Oh, no. It's lovely to see you, Ben. Am I going, are, are you having me on in the background while you're working? <laughs> oh, I'm doing more sewing, Ben. Oh, and enjoy, we're going to have cake later. We, we've got the same, I haven't got enough to take round to Meljoy today because I took cake round to Ben's yesterday. <laughs> so blame Ben, Mel, Meljoy, <laughs> when you come in. <laughs> oh. oh you didn't do that it must have been someone else maybe it was um eileen oh what does he think <laughs> oh chatting away to all the girls in america <laughs> and egypt and there's probably some girls from other countries listening in, and I know there'll probably be some lovely girls from um, England listening in. Ah, oh, welcome to everybody. Oh, and Sana, if you're there on the replay or just relaxing and listening, um, welcome to you too. We're, Sana's not very well again and sending you lots and lots of love and hugs from this, your community. Sana, this is your community. Oh, it was lovely cake. Oh, I'll make another one. It was gluten-free. Yes, I have lo loads of recipes from the girls to make. But I, the reason I made the coconut cake, Ben, was because I had coconut milk left in the fridge. Very much driven by what's left over in the fridge to what I cook. So I googled cake using coconut milk. So that's why we have coconut milk. Now, if the chat's disappeared and you're on replay, um, Sana, Laura's saying big love in capitals to you. Big love, Sana. You'll be back soon. Santa does lovely. Gail, Gail T, Gail Tuthill says, big love to you, Santa. Ah, oh, and some lovely rainbows when I say what an amazing artist you are, Santa. Now, oh, this is, this is lovely. I'm, I'm really enjoying using up all the bits and pieces. I have more bits and pieces as well. This is making it quite rainbowy <laughs> and colourful. Maybe I should find a second swap partner. Oh, Laura says, I'll, I'll read it out to you just in case this disappears for later, Sana. Yes, you will. You'll recover. You'll be back, Sana. It's all a process. You are healing. Yes, give yourself time to heal. Yes, Mrs. Gigi is sending you lovely full leaves and flower emojis. How lovely. Hmm, and hearts, purple heart from Dorinda. Yes. Hmm. Oh, Gail T. 
Lucy, you're running to the doctors. Thank you. I hope all goes well, Gail. I hope all goes well. And I expect everybody will be over if they haven't already seen your video to check out your autumn autumn video, your full ride. Goodbye, Gail. <laughs> Gail T. Thank you for joining us. I do appreciate that. Yes, be, do people popping in and out. I love that. It's lovely, isn't it? We just Oh, I love this, Ben, because Ben knows that I'm quite an extrovert. I do love lots of people and chatting to people. Oh, Beef is a mummy's girl. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, oh look. Let me. Joyce. Joyce is sending a big hugs to you, Sana. That's really lovely. Huge, huge hugs to you. Let's get another colour. I'm loving this. I'm going to split the um, thread. To, it makes it last longer, but it's, it's also easier to thread. Nothing like threading live. But as I say, I, I get all these nerves beforehand. Running up about half an hour before, but then as soon as... As soon as I'm live, I'm loving it. I I talk to myself and I I know you. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving having you around this morning. <laughs> Beth, what are you saying to me, dear? Janet, you're sewing on the deli paper. Will you leave it on the back? Yeah, I was it's just all a huge experiment. Yeah, because some I've seen some people, they take it off, don't they? Yes, but I actually left it on because I can't feel it once it's on. And it's not like it's a fabric piece of clothing that's going to be washed. I think it probably would add stability. But experiment doing, doing either. Oh, now we have the hop again. You found that happened to me. Oh, yeah, and the whole week before the farm party. And then as soon as it started, yes. I know. Laura's calling me a goof. I know. I know. I am. Yes, it is. I do talk to myself because, yeah, it's really, yeah, I, oh, I love it. And I, I literally don't want it to end. You know, when I when it ends, I think, oh, I wish I could do this all the time. <laughs> I know, I know. Silly goof. I know, I am. Such a, such, a, and it's a great way for me to, to um, mix and have company because, of course, I was used to um, being out at work and being with my lovely colleagues at work. Cra I, I used to, I had a lovely job. Oh, you're calling us both goofs. No, call me a goof. I am. I am. I shall think of that next week. <laughs> no, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it on the chin. I am. <laughs> oh, what's I saying? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I used to, my job, I, I had the dream job. We worked in a day centre with clients with Alzheimer's and and. Alzheimer's and memory loss and I we used to I used to do activities and we used to dance and sing we used to cook I used to love it <laughs> absolutely love it and some lovely colleagues then we used to have you know a nice jo joke <laughs> oh it's like the house party. Yes, yes. And once once I'm not in lockdown, I'll have people, guests, popping in and out physically as well, because I think that makes it fun for you if, you know, to get to know some more people. And because not everybody wants to have their own channel or can have their own channel. So 
I'm hoping to have lots of guests. <laughs> oh, because we love having our Mel Joy with us, don't we? Hmm. Yeah, so, yes, and then so I did have to give that up when I had my head injury. So I did miss the girls, but listening to Lizzie, it was, first of all, and being welcomed into the chat by our lovely Gail Anne, and then gradually getting to know all the other girls. That's why I like live streams. I do watch videos. But I do love a live stream because I do like the interaction. <laughs> Everybody's different. I mean, I but I am I am an extrovert. Do love to be with with people, and this really hits the spot. It really does. I love it. Now let me know when Sue's comes in, won't you? Because um Sue's recommended me this channel and I have been loving it let me see if I can find it in my notebook doesn't oh it's called I'll write it up but I will tell Sue's when she comes in if she comes in today if you're on the replay Sue's never any pressure to come obviously <laughs> DIY DIY Handy Mum. I can't put a link in because uh, I can't do that yet. I will. It's a process. Handy Mum. I think it's called Handy Mum Lin. And there's some Chinese writing. Let me put it in. Good morning, Kay. Welcome. Oh, lovely. So glad you can be here. I'm doing some sewing. I'm doing some sewing and we're just having a lovely chat. <laughs> oh, um, I just, in doing that, I've missed Laura giving Gail AC, Gail Anne, a compliment. Oh, Gail. Yes. I always picture you with Lizzie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do. And we see each other in, in all the other chats as well. That's why it's so nice. <laughs> Aww. Aww, Candy. How's it going? Are you, are you waiting, waiting around? Do you take anything with you um, when you go? when you're waiting around at the physio. Don't answer if you can't. I don't expect you to be able to, to chat. As you can see, I just tacked these onto daily paper roughly with the, isn't this gorgeous fabric and off cut? Beautiful. Melanie was working, Meljoy was working somewhere once and there was this, she used to travel around with work and she went to this fabric shop and she went in and they gave her this big sack full of offcuts. Um, she might have had to pay for it. I'm not sure. She'll correct us if she comes in. But that's why I've got some such lovely variety of snippets. Hmm. You're just getting ice. Oh, and then you're done. Ah, oh, okay. I'm going to put another, I'm going to put a blue line down here. Oh, candy. Oh, is it sore? Because you've been working it. You do get sore. I know that you are nearly finishing your, your therapy, your PT, but um, you were trying to get a few more sessions in saw but very worth it now if i ask you a question and then i miss your answer just um talk to me in capitals um i don't mind that at all i love it just try and get my attention i don't like to miss it oh yes cheryl's making everybody a coffee ah <laughs> oh, let me know when it's snack time won't you 
Now, Barbara, Barb, um, if you're there, Barb's sent me some lovely recipes, a chocolate cake recipe and an oatmeal cookie recipe. And I'm hoping to make those, but I just have to use the coconut milk cup this time. Your therapist is out today. So the head therapist did the session at the end and he was great. Oh, wow. Okay. And he might, oh, see, I ripped it. I'm chatting. I ripped it. It doesn't matter because it's going to be glued anyway. There we are. There's never a mistake. I lost the needle. There's the needle. Um, oh, oh, there's Barb. You're here. Oh, you're sorting and loving the stream. Oh, yeah. No, no, no pressure to talk. I'm just saying I'm very grateful for your emails and and for the recipes. And oh, yes, I'm collecting them all and looking forward. I expect Ben and maybe Meljoy, if you're here, you're looking forward to me making some of these recipes because then sharing is caring. I can bring them round. <laughs> Oh, I had to meet Ben at the gate yesterday and hand over the cake. <laughs> oh, I've got green hearts from Barb. Yes, you're sorting. Fantastic. Oh, that's, don't answer if you're too busy, though. Uh, you are sorting in the craft room or in the house? I'm not keen on sorting in the craft room or as other people call it, the dining room. Why they would call it the dining room, I don't know. I just like to I just like to craft in the um in the in the dining room, in the craft room. Or hang the washing up, maybe. <laughs> Candy, your craft room's in the bedroom. Oh, I know, I remember you said. So, yes, because it's a little bit tricky. You have to keep it a little bit neater. Yes, yes. Well, I know um, Shelley from Crafting Mama. She's crafting out of her bedroom at the moment. Yes, yes. Oh, and good morning to Christy there. In, in gently listening in the background, getting her family ready. For work. Welcome to Monday. I've got my lovely bracelet on. This is from Christy, Christy Briddles, Biddleson from, I'm not quite sure what Christy's shop is called. I've got her card somewhere. I must have that out and then I will be able to tell you. If somebody wants to put the link in, they can. And please link your channels or ask for them to be linked if Oh, let me read all this chat. I don't like to miss out. <laughs> Sorting, working on getting my ancient cabinet prepped for supplies. I'll never use, but but must have. Oh, yeah. No, I know. Oh, oh, I've got cupboards and cupboards full like that. Oh, I remember you said that I'm, I'm presuming you're going to paint it. Um, oh, I love a bit. I love a bit of paint, furniture painting. I do like a bit of DIY. If I'm not in the craft room. I've done quite a lot of decorating this year. <laughs> Listening to my YouTube in the background. Yes. I tend to stop doing DIY round about this time because I like to get things a little bit more sorted. So I can I don't like things to be messy in the middle of a job during Christmas. Oh, thank you, Laura. That's the link to Christie's. Um, is that her YouTube channel? To her YouTube channel. Thank you for that. Oh, I'm looking at, I love the way everybody's different. If you go to Christy's channel, she did a lovely um, 
glue book. And I tell you, such a different style of glue booking to me because my glue books, they grow and they grow. And Christie's, she says, no, that's enough. And she stops putting them in and doesn't put make them too bulky. And I tell you, Christie's glue books would be, I'm, I'm wondering whether I might try to do that because her glue books, you could just put in your handbag and take with you just to look through because our glue books are full of our favourite images, aren't they? So I think that would be ideal. There's no room for supplies in the dining room. Your dining room is stuffed. Mm. Yes. Oh, well, yeah, we all love yeah, we all love to collect things, don't we? And we see the potential in things too, don't we? And we have projects on our mind. I know, Candy. My house is the same and my garden. Some people politely call my house eclectic, don't they, Ben? And oh, and then when Sam had a woodwork phase. He's made a workshop upstairs now, but we had um, a wood, woodworking collection in the upstairs hall. Yeah, yes. It's quite a, quite a, yes, quite eclectic. So many projects. That's Mrs. Gigi and lists. Oh, yes. I know. So many projects. <laughs> oh, uh, ben. They do call my house eclectic, I know. But then, Ben, you're a fine one to talk, aren't you? <laughs> oh, dear. Ben has quite a collection of things, don't you? Mm. Actually, Ben, you have quite a collection of things in this, this dining room as well. It keeps me out of mischief, that's right. Yes, that, that's it, Beth. This is this is it. Ben's hit it on the head. You're keeping me out of you, you guys, and you're keeping me out of mischief. <laughs> you do. I think Ben. It runs in the family. I know. I don't take after my parents though, do I, Ben? They have a really neat house. I think I went the other way. I don't know. Would we call? I don't. I think Ben Sam would like to think that he is me, but I don't think he is actually. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really enjoying doing this because I'm. I love doing this, and it's in one color palette. And Jean was saying she she hits on like a season and it's fall autumn and she goes all out for it and I've been the same I've been doing lots of fall colors so I'm I'm enjoying I'm enjoying doing this people think they're neat oh, oh, oh Laura mm. <laughs> oh thanks thanks Laura oh mm. Yes, <laughs> we're not that. And then, and then with the sewing, I've got this little tote. It's um, oh, it's lovely. Oh, let me go and get it. Hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, Ben. I just had a thought that we're here to make people feel better about themselves, aren't we, in life when people see see us? Because um, that, that makes them feel quite neat. If it goes into focus, look at this lovely little tote. Isn't that gorgeous? It's very small. Like I can't really show. Oh, there's the other side of it. And that's got my sewing in it. <laughs> but when I really get going... So I've got all the glue on here and then I've been sewing, listening to the streams on um, on the big telly. I love putting big people on the big telly. And 
so all week last week because I was doing this and things for the hop loving it so one side of the settee I can't get it all in that little bag and I can't clear up every every evening so yes half the settee had all that stuff on it all the sewing stuff on it <laughs> oh dear that little tote do you remember getting me that Ben um, I've got a photograph of it actually it had a plant in it from the supermarket I know and I've always had sewing bits in it but now I'm carrying it all around the house with me it's nice to have a portable craft so you don't have if you don't want to you don't have to sit at the table you can sit in a chair looking out the window or watching the telly. Thanks, Janet. Yeah, so thank you for that, Ben. It's the gift that kept on giving. <laughs> I love it. We can all, we love bags and bits that we can always find. I've got, oh dear, I've got lots of full bags. <laughs> Now, where shall I put the purple? It's probably time to stop. Well, I'm having such a nice time, though. I would like to move on, though, because I've got other things to show you. So that's what I've been doing. So this is to make my cover for the swap. Our little swap we've done amongst ourselves here. And we've all talked to our partners, haven't we? And I like that. We can just just do the swap just amongst ourselves, chat, chat away on Messenger with our partners. I've got one extra here. If anybody wants to join in. Oh, look, it's a little bit short, but I'm going to make this cover. So if anybody um, wants to join in the swap and hasn't, I've got an extra one that I'm doing here. If you've forgotten who your partner is, um, let me know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was just a little bit of patchwork and it's got a little bit of stuffing in it, which brings me nicely. What is the Facebook garden flyer? This is from the Chelsea Flower Show. A little leaflet, my neighbour went, oh, it wouldn't be this year. She goes every year, but it would have been last year because we didn't have it this year. And it was called the Facebook Garden. So then Facebook must have sponsored a garden. It's a garden show. You may have seen it on the television. Google the Chelsea Flower Show, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, hold on, Laura, dear. Let me have a look. I, I will take time and look in my little notebook. Yes, we discussed it on the stream, I do believe. Laura, you are with Candy. Candy's taken two partners, haven't you? Donna and Donna and Candy and Laura and Candy. Yes. Yeah. Don't worry, Laura. Yes, you had a lot on last week and a lot on your mind. Yeah, no, don't don't worry at all. Oh, these are my flowers from Mrs. Gigi's hashtag Mrs. Gigi's flowers, positive flowers. <laughs> don't worry, Laura. It's just a case of making a little wallet that people can turn into a book cover or an ephemera wallet. Look, Melanie's done hers on card and with paper. Or you can or you can make one with fabric with paper on the inside. Or nothing on the inside. Up to you. I've made this one, you see. 
into my glue book. That was from Marlene. This is Gigi. <laughs> she gave me the idea. Yes. <laughs> oh. And one cluster. Talk to Candy though. Message Candy. And yeah, no pressure though. No, no, no pressure. I was just so inspired, and I had so, when when I got mine from Melanie and um, Mrs. Gigi, I was so excited to get to get these and to make them into glue books. <laughs> I thought, oh, I wanted us all to share that, <laughs> or the people that wanted to. <laughs> so that this this piece of cardboard is going to become one of those folders too. Could be an ephemera folder. Of course, our lovely Peggy, Peggy Fitzmorris, made one and we saw it on Beth's stream on Saturday. And Peggy's one, of course, had pockets in it. Peggy pockets. It was gorgeous. Oh, yes, I, it, so it was like when I made this from the one Mrs. Mrs. Gigi gave me, it was her Happy Mail folder. I, I made the glue book straight away. It was like, oh, so exciting. That thrill, if you remember, the, you know the thrill of getting a new notebook or journal. <laughs> oh, Janet. Anne, I will try to message Janet about joining the swap. Oh, yes, Anne, do. Oh, would you like to be my partner, Anne? Oh, yes, do, do join the swap. Because, it, it, yes, absolutely delightful. That, oh, yeah, such a lovely swap. <laughs> right, now, without further ado, I think... It's time for you guys to go and get yourself a lovely hot beverage, maybe a snack. Yes, Anne wants to be my partner. Let me write that down. And then we'll have our this big carpenter's pencil that I'm using. Goodness me, I have to put that behind my ear like a real builder. I think the builder must have left it behind. Um... So I'm going, to, I'm going to write that down. Oh, I was just saying to you, though, my next DIY project is going to start in the Christmas holidays. What, there was a, oh, talking about being a, in a complete mess. Yes, there's, I've got a cupboard in the kitchen and it had in it just a load of, Oh, load of rubbish, really. And Sam, Sam and I were on one of our dog walks with Freddie, and Sam said it would be, wouldn't it be nice if we had a larder in the kitchen? And you, you know, he was just chatting. He was saying, "Oh, we're completely happy with the house, but you know, that's one of the things that wouldn't that be nice?" And then we looked at one another, and we thought, "Yes, Kimberly." Oh, yes, Kim, as I am saying, time to get your cookies or your healthy snack, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. Yes. <laughs> get, it's time to get your little piece of healthy fruit. <laughs> and we looked at one another and I said, um, is, this, is this the garage phoning? Oh, it probably is. Oh, let's just leave them. That's fine. Um, oh. We'll just ignore it. Car's in for service. Oh, actually, just in case they need to do something. Oh, I'll phone them later. It's fine. We looked at one another and said, what about the kitchen cupboard? You know, the one with the dresser, Ben. He knows about this project. It's, it's a, yeah, it's quite, quite big. And Sam said, yeah, because it's just full of a load of old rubbish, really, isn't it? And I, I said, well, I suppose it is, Sam. And I said, you'll, you'll have to help me though, Sam, because, oh, and and he did. And he cleared it up and, oh, it's embarrassing really. There were little pots of Brasso, silver cleaner. There were things from, um, there were little pots and bits of things from the 1980s. Can you believe that? Yeah, yeah. 
So we had a good old clear out and we took some things up to the loft, but we didn't save much really. It was just a, yeah, just household bits and pieces really. So yes, <laughs> that's where, and I've had it plastered inside. So during the Christmas holidays, we're going to make a larder, <laughs> going to paint it and Sam's going to put some shelves up. Fine. Oh, Cheryl, that is what I call good timing. Mm, excellent timing. Now, Candy is probably on her way home, so I'm not going to show my happy mail from Candy yet because she's on her way home from her therapy. So today I am using vintage cute colour, isn't it? Oh, you want to rip up Janet's calendar? I know. Is it confusing? It's going to confuse people, isn't it? It's not December 2000. Oh, it's like we've gone back in time. <laughs> I got this from Mum, a charity shop or at the side of a dumpster or something like that. And I've used all the pages. I use it as a backing page or I make envelopes out of it or I, yes, I paint on it. And this is the last piece. And I thought, oh, how lovely it is as long as I cover the data. I know, sorry. <laughs> I'm confusing you. <laughs> it's like stepping back in time, isn't it? So my pottery today is pool pottery. Mm. <laughs> it's vintage it's from the 1950s I do believe this color and I love it it's a the cup got that lovely lovely shape that they had then I've got a few bits I got it in a charity shop now I that's like a goodwill shop we call as goodwill Kimberly, you there? Have you got your, have you got your, have you got, yes, tea time. <laughs> yes, it's, it's snack time. It's story time. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's move everything out. Oh, no, I have to cover that up. Sorry, Joyce. I'm confusing people. It's not December. And it's not. <laughs> what can I cover it up with? Oh, dear. And today I have got coconut cake. It's gluten free and I can put the recipe in the description box if you'd like me to or email it to you. Oh, yes, Anne, you've got the ingredients. Bless you, don't they look gorgeous? Anne, I can leave, I can share that recipe as well. She said, don't share it with everybody until Anne's got. Anne's got it. Let me share that recipe. So this the what this one is coconut cake made with gluten-free flour and coconut milk. Pumpkin cookies with cream cheese icing. Store-bought Kimberly. Sounds delicious. Oh, I love, I love everything pumpkin and spice. Don't I, Ben? Ship me off to New York again. <laughs> I love it. I'm trying to try and look through here to see if I can find that recipe, Anne. Yes, Melanie shared with Anne her children's favourite recipe growing up. This is my, isn't it growing, my recipes from all around the world. If you didn't see it on Facebook or you're not on Facebook, if you look here, it's a picture of Peggy's, Peggy Fitzmaurice's vintage apron collection. Isn't that delightful? After we talked on here. Yes, apricot custard cookies. Ooh, yes. I'm trying to find it now. Hold on. You 
can see uh, this is growing and I am loving this. I've got a little note here from, from Barb. Is that, oh no, that's, um, that's from Mrs. Gigi. Oh, I've got so many lovely recipes to make. Mmm, so many recipes to make and so much time to do it. I have got time to do it. Ah, here we are, here we are. Isn't this a super journal? I'm loving it. Teresa, look, you're a little apron pocket. Carrot cake with cream cheese icing. Look at that. I've got you all started again. Special K cereal. Joyce, love that. Love it. Oh, I love cereal. Do you have that with milk? Love it. Oh, I'm sorry. You had to get the... Oh, if we were allowed to send food through, I could have sent you a little package with some in. You'll love the custard. And Anne, if you, if you want to know... I can do you a little video or a FaceTime call and we can actually make some custard with the custard powder to go with the pudding. Wow. So you'll you'll use it. Don't worry. So these were this was Melanie's apricot custard crumbles. So it's got plain flour. You can use gluten free flour. One ounce of custard powder. That's custard powders. Yummy. It's like corn flour and it's corn flour and dried egg, basically. Caster sugar, butter, dried apricots. Oh, and single cream. How nice. Ooh, lovely. And if you want me to, I can put that recipe in the um, description box. Yes. Oh, Anne said that sounds good. Oh, we'll do a little FaceTime session and make, let me know next time you have a little piece of cake that, or, or pudding that needs some custard on it. Hmm. Lovely, instead, instead of cream. So do let me know if you would like that recipe of Melanie's. I'm going to make that too. I'm going to work my way through all these yummy recipes. <laughs> You're having coffee. But very nice flavoured coffee gal. Oh, how lovely. Oh, look. I tell you what, Dar, while you're there, this is our show and tell time. So I have a beautiful, don't let me forget, I've got a beautiful National Geographic to show you. Don't tell Malaya, she's fed up of National Geographic. She's been sorting through hers. Dar. I made you a nice small, I'm going to put my tea over there. I don't want to get glitter in it. Small little positive sayings journal to go in your pocket. Oh, Laura, yes. You're working in the background. <laughs> oh, da, it's for you. I do. I'm going to pop it in the post tomorrow. I do hope that it arrives. Sometimes it takes a long. Sometimes it might take up to a month. If it doesn't arrive, we'll just say that person that got it must, um, you know, must have needed it, and I'll make you another one. So, ah, oh, Mary Lou, Mary Lou, just in time for snack time. Well done. Good timing. Mm. Joyce is off to the kitchen. So it's made with an envelope. I'd already got this cover made up because you can see that it's got some, it's an envelope, but it's got some stitching from the sewing machine. That's when I had the sewing machine, Beth. I must get that back from the... So I've stuck them on and I've gone around the sewing machine. You can see I've got a sewing machine heart shape there. Oh, yes. It's funny, isn't it? Some of mine get through in a week and then other times they take ages and then sometimes they don't turn up at all. It, 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 yeah, it's 
strange times. You're still on the phone. Ah, yeah, no, Jean. That's nice. Enjoy your phone call with your son. I'm glad yours got there quickly, though. Now, what I've done here, I put some nice piece of velvet there. And I tell you where I got that, that bit of velvet from. I had a gorgeous tag in the tag swap from Cheryl, our lovely sister Cheryl here. And I thought it would be lovely. It's a lovely addition to have. So I, it was long, so I just snipped a little bit off, just enough. So I've still got some left of my tag. Here it is. I'm just pulling it out of the tag book. Here's my lovely tag. So don't, oh, look. It's a little bit, oh, oops. But I've still got some to feel, so don't worry. <laughs> I haven't used it all. Oh, dance, just for you. Yes, Teresa, that's why I love to bake or cook. I love the smell of the house, yes. Mm. Oh, map pages, yes. Yeah, it's just, it's it's glue and don't think. And then I've just done some sewing. Yes, just the little scraps. And it's great because this is all the little off cuts of paper as well. When you, Just a little one signature journal. Thank you, Kimberly. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. That's so nice. I know, I love velvet. Mm. So what have we got? We've got some positive words here. Belonging. And just lots of lovely little snippets different bits so it's like it's a it's a mini glue book really so I've just had fun so there's some really good vibes coming on this really because I've had such fun as I'm doing it oh so you've got a little piece of Cheryl there actually it's really nice to use people's happy mail in your projects thank you Cheryl you've reminded me I'm going to do that more because it's nice to have little bits and pieces of the people that we see in the box. Yeah, you're right, actually, Cheryl. I'm going to do that more, more often. There's a little bunch of flowers for you. And this one says, so calming. So maybe that's for the days that you don't feel so calm. And there's some silk there. So it's hitting all the senses. If you put some lavender oil on it, you could um, get a nice smell with it as well. And you've got a little cluster here with some fabric. And that says family. I always like to put little tabs and things on. And this one says welcoming. I love keys. I've got a die cut of this key. Oh, there. <laughs> okay, good, Laura. Yes, yes. Well, I think we're all used to spending quite a lot of time with each other, aren't we? So it's not surprising that we coordinate how we think and feel. All of us. Yes. Welcoming. There's some other nice things to feel here. And this one, by chance, was a piece of book paper. And it said, it's actually on the cluster behind. He's had his dinner, okay. um, Sam. Is he okay? I think yeah. he just came up because he wanted to play, darling. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's Freddie. He's having a little wonder. If he gets, he's been sat with us, but he went up to get Sam. He can have some more if he's still hungry, Sam. <laughs> and it said feathers on there. So I've got a little feather. We have these. Oh, I've glued it in. So it's a little feather from the little green toucans that we get that come to the park. This one says refreshing. So it's a little mix of material and paper. You okay, Freddie? Oh, the girls might be able to hear you. 
does. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it does. It does, Laura. And I love these. You'll find little pictures. You know, I don't do a lot of fussy cutting. I've just gone round there. I'm not one of the great fussy cutters, but I do look. You've got little vases and it's little swan vase and cactus vase. And this is a lovely, cosy page. You've got a fireplace here and a mantelpiece. And it says joy. And let's see. And you've got a little tag here. Another little fireplace. And that says enlightening. Another little tab. I love to make tabs. And this one is what I treasure. And you might like to think about some of the things that you treasure and lift up here. Oh, look, there's a couple of, we call these deck chairs. You might call them beach chairs. Freddie was thirsty, wasn't he? Gulping away. I know. <laughs> oh, thank you. You love Freddie. Yeah, get that drink. Freddie knows that it's snack time. Yes. I could get a snack. Oh, actually, is that bowl empty now? Hold on. Let me let me fill it up for you, darling. Let you were thirsty. Let me get you. Gosh, that is a big drink. Like everybody else. Come on. I wish I could be fancy with my camera, but it, it's um here you go, darling. He's got little dry fish <laughs> for his snack. There we are. But it, it's gaffer taped on, so I can't move my camera. <laughs> Only at the end. <laughs> if I remember. Oh yes, he'll enjoy his walk later. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Gigi. I always got a mini glue book on the go. Had such fun making this. This page says, be kind to yourself. And it's always nice for to remind to remind ourselves to be kind to yourself. And I typed that out with my little typewriter. Um, Laura, you can get um, typewriter ribbon on eBay to fit typewriters if you want to use the typewriter that you've got that you've... brighter every day that one says yes the map there a little bit of road atlas and what have we got here this says laugh sometimes we can't laugh on our own but sometimes we can be watching comedies or we can watch um, streams where people are laughing. Laughter is a good medicine. And Kathy and Colleen were having a really good laugh. I think that was on Friday afternoon. Laughter can be contagious. Oh, I have, I, I yes, I, I've got mine in the lounge actually. It, the, a vintage typewriter can be in any room because it's such a, a beautiful piece of furniture. Furniture is not the right word, but hmm. and it's got a little pocket. And in there is just like a little mini journal, just in case you want to make some notes. I'll pop that in there. And what's here? Oh, no word on here. Maybe I will remember. But it's got a flamingo in on, on it. Little fabric tag there. And this one says, laugh, happiness and believe. And it's very hard to see. But that's one of those that uh, it's a lady dancing, I think, from a vintage magazine. That's what Shelley does, where she makes a transfer 
and then peels it back. So I try to do that in all my journals now, all my glue books, because that's quite relaxing. It's decor, yes. Home decor, yes, that's it. Yes, so that's it. This is my excuse for a lot of the things around the house. Oh no, that's decor. Hmm. And a little key, yes. So sometimes Lizzie puts hearts on her heartstrings. Today, I've put a key on mine. <laughs> and here's some... Um, this is a little vintage from a vintage pattern, a little uh, a, a girl, <laughs> a lady, and some candles and lights, just things I've enjoyed cutting out, really. It's just a little mini glue book, really. Friends. And I loved this boat. And the boat was called Friendship. And in the background, there's the Sydney Opera House. I thought, oh, I love that picture. I'm cutting that out. <laughs> Stay connected. Take time to live well. Inspiration. What does this say? Oh, okay. I, had to, I couldn't read that upside down. I, I keep meaning to sort this camera out so, so it's the other way around. Energising. That's interesting. We've got some lovely little deer in the park. It's just all bits really glued, really glued on top of one another. And here's a little piece of vintage napkin and I've made a pocket. I don't know whether I put the, that in upside down or whether I meant to put it that way. Who knows? It says courage. And look at this. This is a love. I put some ink on that. But this was made by Steffi B, who may be listening in the background. Welcome, Steffi. This is your lovely crocheted star from your Etsy shop. This says recollection. Oh, and it says it's got a little task here to do. Draw a scene you can remember from childhood or the distant past. Show it to no one. Oh, so just for yourself, maybe in your private journal or a journal that you're not going to show to other people or show online. Draw a scene you can remember from childhood or a distant past. Or if you're a writer, write about a memory. That's interesting. Pop that there. That could be a little task. And this says wonder. And this says art. <laughs> Empowering. It's just a mishmash of images and gluing find meaning in small things <laughs> and then I will open it up this way to make it that bit flatter and I'm going to put, pop that in the post to Dar tomorrow and I still so when you're going to your appointments and your eye appointments it is full of things, full of bits and pieces. <laughs> I quite like to put glossy accents on some of the pictures too, just to make you can't actually see that. And the velvet I meant to say is if you if you are feeling a little bit, if one is feeling a little anxious at times or you're going through if you're feeling the the velvet because you've got quite a lot of nerve endings in your fingers so if you're touching things it's quite distracting it can be distracting if one's feeling a bit in pain or emotionally a bit upset it can be quite relaxing when i 
finally get my camera that I want it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Joyce. Look at that. Joyce, I can tell you've been streaming then. You, you know this stuff. Yes, I will get sorted. Yes, I need to get some more gaffer tape from Ben. I'm going to try this cake. Mm. Mm. Oh, I did try some yesterday. Mm. So I'm going to show you this lovely magazine. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that cake is, mm, although I say it myself, it is gorgeous. Contact me if you would like the recipe or I could put it up in the description. So because of my head injury, I had to take retake my driving. I had to have a driving test and I went on the train. Oh, Barbara's singing. She wore blue velvet. Oh, Barbara, if I knew that one, I would sing along with you, but I don't. But I, I bet other people here are singing along with you. You're not alone. Okay, Cheryl, I will share the recipe. I'll put it in the description box. How's that? <laughs> and up in the Facebook group as well. Oh, there you go. Dar remembers that song. Bobby Vinton. Bobby Vinton. Alison, hi. You remember that song too. Gosh. <laughs> oh, Mary Lou singing along. Let me write that down because I love all these references you give me. Bobby Finton. She wore blue velvet. No, I'll know it. I'll know it when um, I'll know it when you. She wore blue velvet. Blue velvet. Hmm. That really is quite a hmm, moist cake. Hmm. Lovely. So I digressed. Oh no, you're singing along. Keep singing. Laughter, singing, music, art. Hmm. So I had to go on a train, and it was it was to a. I can't remember where it was now, but it was a beautiful little old station. Victorian station because our station is modernized and really quite ugly but this was a little um not a mainline station and they had in the waiting room they had a bookstall and you just had oh Laura's going to have to look it up <laughs> I usually know all the songs because I used to sing them at the the dementia center with all the clients they had a bookshelf and an honesty box so you just pop some money in so I picked up two or three national geographics and I think probably a book that I could make a junk journal in and I've been saving this one I've taken out a couple of pictures it's December 1950 Cheryl remembers the song. I love this. Everybody sing. I can imagine everybody's humming along. I wonder if there's a copyright on that song. Well, I'm not monetized anyway. I could put it on. Hold on. Let me see. It doesn't matter for me, does it? She what is it? She what she wore. Blue velvet. <laughs> I'm curious now. You're all singing. She wore blue velvet. Oh, I've got Wikipedia. Song. Oh, look at that. Bobby Vinton. Let's see. I'll just, I'll just get a... Oh, no. I've got someone's advert. Hold on a minute. Let's have a... Oh, no. This is another skip ad. Sorry. Bobby Vinton. Oh, of course I know that song. Oh. oh, that is lovely. I love that. Copyright strike. Yay. Oh, that is so lovely. Oh, oh. 
Oh, I saw no flame. Oh, I'm loving that. Oh, thank you, Bobby. And thank you, Jim Gonzalez, for sharing that. Oh, of course. Yes, I do know that. We didn't sing it at the day centre. If I was still, be careful, Janet. I know. Sorry, Joyce. Um, that, that, oh, absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. So, December 1950. If I was working at the day centre now, I would have written out the words to type the words out to that. Oh, I don't want a strike. No, I don't. I'm not quite sure what that means. They'll take the video down or well, don't worry. We had a nice time. We just well, we'll just be living in the moment if, if it gets taken down. That, that's it. Yes, we're living in the moment. We're happy now. Look at this. I I thought Peggy might like this page because it says to Jim from Peggy. And it's got it's watches, Hamilton watches. Now, because this is American, is that Doris Day? Oh, it looks like. Oh. I, it, I don't think it does because I think it might say it says Lady Hamilton shown above Lady Hamilton. Ooh. Wow. Diamond set. Isn't that lovely? I love all the old. I love all the old advertisements in these. So I'm probably going to send that one to Peggy. Oh, am I missing somebody coming in? If I'm missing you, shout out again. Looks more like Janet Lee. Oh. Oh, don't worry, Teresa, then. That's not a problem because I don't want to be monetized. So... That's fine then. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It's not for me. But for for some people, yes, that that would be fantastic. I mean, never say never. But for me, at the moment, I am just so happy to be here with you guys. Oh, look, this is advertising Bell and Howell. In Bell and Howell movies. Oh, look at the little movie camera. Does anybody remember their family having one of these movie cameras? That looks like a lot of... I need to turn it round. Oh, having combi sandwiches. How nice. Do you know, that sounds a lot of money, even now. $247. An auto load is one, $177. That was a lot of money, correct me if I am wrong, in 1950. Aren't they, Abigail? Aren't the pictures just amazing? And look at this one, the family coming in. And the little boy, they've got snow on their boots. Isn't that? delightful merry christmas grandma we came we came in our new plymouth now plymouth must be a car if anybody remembers their family having gail Anne. no my family didn't have um a video camera either no gosh no um but my dad did have a camera. His hobby was photography and he did like that. And he used to buy lenses for his camera. Gail, Anne, she owned a Plymouth. Oh, I'll have to look up what one of those looks like. Mm. You have it in the museum. Is that your own museum or a museum that you visit? 
Oh, wipe your feet. <laughs> Grandma's screaming, wipe your feet. I know. They're on the, it's absolutely delightful. Real to real. Yes, Joyce, real to real camera. Absolutely amazing. We picked up some of these i i quite like to collect vintage cameras i'm into polaroid cameras i love a polaroid camera but we have got some i think i've got some film in my fridge <laughs> that's where you keep the film for um if ben's still in here he'll be able to tell me what the camera we've got upstairs is i haven't got around to using it yet oh look at these socks they are Ab. <laughs> what does it say? Interwoven socks. Look at that text. Isn't that fantastic? Ah, oh, by the largest manufacturer of socks in the world. Oh, wow. Properly made nylons for men interwoven socks it doesn't say where they were made but i bet they were made in the usa oh the brownie camera yes oh i'll have to bring down some of, i think what have i got upstairs i haven't got a brownie but i've got a very old camera that i did run a film through once you can get the films for cameras i've got a 1980s um, Polaroid camera that I adore and this one go by Pullman goodness me I wonder whether we've got any prices on this comfortable dependable and above all safe I've never been on a Pullman train we have a Pullman train called the Orient Express which goes from London and goes Oh, I think it goes into Europe. I think you can go to Venice on the Orient Express. Hmm. <laughs> I think I do believe you can you still have Pullmans. Maybe in Canada you have double decker trains and you can still go on them. Oh, Gail lives where they used to make those Pullman cars. Your parental grandfather. A great uncle and an uncle worked there. Oh, that's amazing, Gail. Oh, Gail. Well, let's write that down. Maybe you'd like me to send you this page. Because, gosh, that is amazing. Okay, you can always rub this off. I'm just putting it in Carpenter's pencil so I'm not relying on... Oh, and they built the Pullman cars here in... Bezema. They were busy making things there, weren't they, Teresa? Because that's where they made those biscuits we talked, the wagon wheels we talked about when I was very first streaming. You can smell the scent in these in these magazines. There's still a few around that yeah, it Janice, are there? Gosh, that would be that would be like a dream, wouldn't it? To, Oh, look at this cake. Isn't that magnificent? It's the map of the United States with candles on. One to grow on. Southern Railway System. The Southern serves the South. Gosh, that's lovely. Oh, and look at this page here. You can be sure if it's Westing. Westinghouse. I'm not quite sure what that is. Ultraviolet by the by the roomful. I'm not sure what that is. Best way to get your ultraviolet is out under the sun. Oh, I wonder whether it's advertising sun lamps. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Oh, Kimberly, you have Southern Railway there. Hmm. Oh, you love the train scene in White Christmas. Oh, dear. Is anybody willing to put their hands up and say they've started watching Christmas movies already? <clears throat> ben, ben, Sam comes down and mocks me because 
if I'm not watching a stream, I'm you might find me now watching the odd Christmas movie. Oh, yes. The train scene. Yes. Oh, that's that's one to watch, isn't it? White Christmas. That's another song. Oh, we're going to get Barb off singing again. Oh, we used to say when I worked in the day centre, you weren't allowed to sing the Christmas songs until December started. <laughs> yeah, Abigail's so true. But they are our favourite thing in these magazines. Yes, we love them. Yeah, I've got a, a 1980s. I'll bring that down next week. A 1980s magazine. And, and I even like looking at the adverts in there. So, yeah, so true. Oh, and this is a shaver. Oh, look at that. A present for him. <laughs> you might remember these makes. Oh, no, Remington. We have Remington. The, Alison, it's a little trip down memory lane. I know. Ah, oh, I love that. Hmm. Oh, and look at these dear children. And they've got a little dog, a little bit like Freddy. Isn't that Dumont? Oh, and it's advertising the television. Look at the television. When did I say this was? 1950. Now, a lot of people in England didn't have televisions, but the Queen had her coronation. Was it in 1953? Oh, correct me if I'm saying that wrong. And that's the year a lot of people got televisions so they could watch the Queen's coronation on television. And look at this little sketch here of the, oh, isn't that absolutely delightful? If there's Remington, there'll be a Nor Norco too. Oh, look at this. You're, you're watching Christmas decorating videos. Oh, yes, getting ideas for... Oh, I've got a Christmas decorating idea to share with you in a minute if I'm not taking up too much of your time. And you can see here, last year, I had a little cheeky cutout here of... Oh, dear. Of... of um, I couldn't wait. Here we are. That's a television. Oh, look, I love this one. Oh, look at the ladies in their dresses. Look at the long dress and how lovely. And they've got their television. This one is called a, a Zenith Radio Television. No other gift can give so much. Oh. There, no other gift can give so much. Oh, and if you want to, there's a little alarm clock there. If anybody remembers those. Oh, you watched a Christmas baking competition last night. Oh, yummy Christmas baking. Lovely. Your parents didn't have a TV till the late early 60s. Oh, yeah. I don't think every household had... Um, a television in nine when for the queen's coronation i know my uh one of my father's parents did we did we i grew up in the early 60s and we had a radio to start with and then had a television mm. here we are oh you'll love this look at that and a, a beautiful American fridge. And look at the little girl with a, a magic wand. General Electrics. Al Alnico Magnetic Door. That's it. Oh, Barbara. I, I'm sure that's what you do in Canada. Yes. Barbara always dresses that way to watch television. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> you are fat. Oh, Barbara, I do hope you're dressed up to watch and be part of this stream. Excuse me. Only the best pajamas. 
can be worn watching this stream. <laughs> oh, Kimberly's got her lovely red high heels on. Oh, <laughs> oh, Cheryl. Oh, dear. Still more adverts. I'm loving this. California. Wow. Going on, on holiday or vacation to California on the train. I love these. This reminds me of the Jensen's, the little guy with the helicopter hat thingy. I had a Jensen's book growing up. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. Miami, a holiday to Miami. Oh, gosh, only to be dreamed of. Oh, a cameras here to take pictures. Oh, and goodness me, as if going to Miami, if you, oh, South Africa. Goodness me. People traveling to South Africa in the 1950s. Goodness me, that would be a trip. It would cost... Oh, by boat, it would have cost $650, I'm presuming, per person to go to South Africa. Wow, goodness me, and maybe to go on safari. So in the 50s, if you had the odd $650, you may have been able to travel to South, South Africa. Oh, they're not advertising to come to England, are they? Christmas flash. Look at the big flash cubes. To think that we take photographs on our camera now. Oh, Nashua, this is a magazine. Ah, oh, it's a magazine from the 50s. It's an American magazine. I'm going to Phoenix. I love this. Oh, and this is a radiogram. Oh, and this one's got a television, or you could just have a radiogram. We had a radiogram where I worked at the day centre, and the sound, we put vinyl records on, the sound that, that came from, the, from there was absolutely lovely, lovely sound. We used to put the old records on and have a good old dance and have a tea party. And here's a pen set. Ah. Oh. Absolutely lovely. Thank you for sharing this with me. It's lovely to, to look at this with other people. I love this. Such a colourful, colourful advert. New York Central. Wow. This must be advertising New York Central Station. New York Central System. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh, Barbara, you have those flash cubes. They're amazing, aren't they? Just to think we just take videos now on our phones. It's just crazy, isn't it? Mm. I love it. Yes, Abigail's right. They're probably thinking, oh, so many adverts before you get into the real magazine. I'm glad now. Let me just read this. This looks like Big Ben, is it? No, it's not. New York, Madison, 1 Madison Avenue. I've been to Madison Square. Look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? My mum's always had her hair in a perm like that. And then it's probably getting into the serious articles now. So, yeah, but we love the adverts. And look at the back. Coca-Cola, it's the real thing. The Santa, look at that. We leave a glass of sherry and a carrot for the reindeer and maybe a mince pie for Santa, not a Coke. <laughs> Zenith TV Manufacturing made the first huge mobile phones, did they, Janice? Oh, my, my dad had one of those. Gosh, yeah. If you ever watch, um, oh, is it Del Boy? What's that series Del Boy's in, if you're here, Ben? He has one of those big, Del Boy's a British comedy you might get on 
Brit Box. What's it? Only Fools and Horses. Is is that Only Fools and Horses? Yes. Del Boy, he has one of those big brick phones. <laughs> oh, lovely. So Candy isn't back yet, from, but I will I will tell her what part of this catch up to that she can catch up this later. I had some happy mail from Candy. Now I never expect happy mail. Um, Cheryl singing, it's the real thing. It's been such a nice, jolly, chatty sort of stream and singy stream today. Mary Lou, do you like, do you, do you know Only Fools and Horses? Is it on BritBox? Because that is one of our favourite TV shows. By this time next year, we'll be millionaires. <laughs> ah. Yes, it's one of it's one of our favourite. Oh, if you haven't watched it, just see if you can find it. If you haven't got Brickbox, see if you can find it on um <laughs> oh. yes, we've been very nostalgic today. I'd like to teach the world to sing. That's the Coke advert, isn't it? Oh Barbara, this is lovely. Laughter. And, and makes the world go round and and um, and singing and music do too. Yes. So dear Candy sent me happy mail. I I I'm so over the moon with it and so happy and thankful. Oh hi Hilda Gunn, welcome, come in, come in, welcome. We're having we're just having a little snack and a chat and we've been singing and. Come in and join us. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> in perfect harmony. <laughs> Good morning, Mina. Good morning. Faulty Towers, Barbara. Oh, Faulty Towers. I watched that when I was growing up. I used to have an LP, a, a record of that. I, I, oh, some of the lines I know off by heart from Faulty Towers. I love it. Oh, dear. <laughs> so this is from Candy. Isn't that lovely? It says explore. And these are some of those oriental coins. It's got some oriental writing on. Some like you had, Beth. And this is from dear Candy. And I wrote Candy's name on the back. And it's, it's a little encouraging word from Candy to us today. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Isn't that lovely? And you know that quote is from Dr. Zeus. Oh, the places you'll go. Ben didn't like Dr. Zeus, but Sam did. I adored reading Dr. Zeus to Sam. Oh, love it. Love the Grinch. And I love those, the two little people that have an argument and they build motorways around them. Oh, I love, I love it. Chinese yen. Isn't that amazing? Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Thank you for sharing that those with me candy that's so lovely and that i'm going to slot over here it's going to be next to cheryl it's next to you cheryl candy and you are sitting next to one another in my tag book and it's look at me look at me malaya and and nicole if you're listening to this or just gently in the background I've got another glue book and it's one of these that we've been talking about from Vietnam. And if you, Nicole was telling this in Relax Cup Glue, if you find these ones, they're nice and strong, very strong. <laughs> oh, and I love Dr. Zeus too. The King, the Mice and the Cheese. Maybe I don't know that one. Hmm. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, you Got all that to come again with the grandchildren. So I received this on Saturday with a 
thankful heart. Thank you, Candy. Candy sent me a recipe that I've put in the book. I've started this already. And all through the book, Candy slipped delicious little pieces of paper. This is gorgeous paper. It's got some Chinese writing on it. I don't know what it's made of. Maybe it's made from bamboo. I'm not sure. And this all through the book, she's just slipped in little bits and pieces for me. And I've left them there so you can see them. Absolutely delightful. Paper cutting. Lovely, all different types of paper. I'm flicking through and I'm probably missing some. Beautiful paper. I'm feeling it all as I go. Ooh, texture. Ooh, handmade paper. Ooh, lovely. That's going to make nice little cards. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, some paper that's been embossed. I know. Oh, Horton. The Lorax. Thing one and thing two. Oh, look, Dr. Zeus memories. So thank you, Candy. Thank you so much. So I've been gluing in my, where is it, my lovely book here, my glue book. I've still got my autumn book on the go. I've been having wonderful fun with that, but I've started my Christmas one as well. That was very kind, very un unexpected. From And look who was on the envelope. It's a little one-eyed monster, and I find he's so precious because he's travelled all the way from America, and he lost a little eye on the journey, but he's just so precious. I put him on there. And he's going to guard my Christmas book. <laughs> Isn't it lovely, Dar? It's really nice. And this, this, I've stuck this picture on. This is from, from Melanie. Thank you, Melanie. All about friends. So, and I've put a little pocket. That's a bet envelope. Made a pocket. So I've started my Christmas journal already. So I'm just going to. This is what I was doing yesterday while I was had Queen on the on the radio. I'm going to be cutting out purpley images, probably sticking them on this page. Oh, Aunt Bex, hi! You've been busy this morning. Yes. Yep. 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 How are you? Or did you have a bit of a sleep in today? Because, yeah, you've had a, such a busy time. You must feel so overwhelmed with the boxes. It's like one day at a time. For Aunt Bex, it's one box at a time, isn't it? Yes. He's fascinated with double-decker buses. He asked me to ask you if you've been on one. Oh, yes, Cole. Oh, I'll do a little video for Cole of the tram system and the bus system. I will take you into town. Yes, the double-decker buses come, the red London double-decker buses come at the top of our road coal, actually. Yes, yes, because <laughs> we're in a London borough. In other parts of the country, they have different colored buses. But of course, yes, like in New York, you have the yellow taxis. <laughs> mm. Oh, right. Yes, we'll go on a little trip into town because I don't want you to think that um, I live in the countryside because I don't. I take you off to the park into the countryside, but um, we live in quite a concretey, busy town. So I shall do a little video just for, um, just for you. Well, and everybody showing you the showing you the buses and the trams and good morning joy so nice to see you welcome what kind of taxis we have black well we have we have black taxi cabs are our traditional london cabs we we do have ubers now as well but the black cabs yes they're just down our road <laughs> one day because you don't get to go in a black black cab when you actually 
live in a town with them. And one time, Ben, as a little birthday treat, I said, oh, let's get in a black cab. They oh, must have loved me. We got in one at the station. And, of course, it's only two or three minutes away. And um, then Ben was, I remember Ben being, if he's here now, being a bit disappointed because it was over so quickly. <laughs> And the cab driver was thinking that was a short, <laughs> a short ride. Ah. Oh, your taxis are white, um, Nashua, are they? Yeah. Yeah, the steering wheels. Are, oh, don't ask me. I always get it wrong. Yeah, steering wheels on the right hand side. That is right, Cheryl. Yes, yeah. So this is my Christmas, my Christmas glue book. Oh, and here's my little page. It was a, it was a page, I'm trying to get it so there's no glare. That's it. So it was a page with a fireplace and they had lovely wallpaper and some quite funky things going on there on the, on the mantelpiece, like little tigers. But I've started to add some more bits and pieces a bit like doing a beth reverse collage isn't it i'm just adding i'm de delightfully adding some little owls and parrots and of course there's um a fairy godmother Alyssa. if you're here later i put a fairy godmother in it and she's got fairy dust on her wings <laughs> mm. yes she's like the sugar plum fairy and there is a little Cinderella coach just to take us off if we do happen to stream until midnight <laughs> not really um we'll it'll turn into a pumpkin um crafty kitty is joy oh have I got your name wrong crafty kitty am I am I crafty kitty is there a joy in here Crafty Kitty, have I got your name wrong? Oh, thanks, Anne. I'm gonna. I like a page where I can be adding, adding to it. But generally, I don't do a lot of fussy cutting. And this was from a magazine page. A, a friend of mine, Leslie. She. We do some honeys, mummy. We do a lot of um, walking together. She bought me a lovely magazine. I was so pleased. She said, I think you'll like this. And I was so pleased. Oh, your, your joy. Oh, yes. Hi, Joy. <laughs> and Joyce, Joycey is here too. Yes. Oh, and there is fairy dust. Alyssa, I said your name. I look. Your fairy godmother is here sitting on the chair. There's going to be fairy dust. It's that's just for you, Alyssa. <laughs> um, here we are. So, yes, this magazine, I haven't done too much to it. I, I had cut some of these bits up and I did a background with the um creamy gelettos type things I got from Amazon and this year I did think I was going to create some snowflakes on my windows I thought they were going to be paper but here it says a bar of curd soap works best use a knife to cut it to the size that fits your hand and shape a point for making fine lines moisten the point on a damp cloth occasionally that will help and there's a picture there was a picture of a child doing this curd soap so i'm going to look that up has anybody heard of curd soap sounds amazing i'm going to try this and i will take you along for the ride if i do um sounds Sounds amazing. It makes a pretty page, but um, obviously, yes, m some fairy dust for Alyssa. Yes. <laughs> and any more pages? No, just collecting other bits and pieces. So I started my Christmas glue book. <laughs> and thank you, Candy. I know you're not here now, but I will be able to advise you on what time to 
flick forward to so you don't have to watch everything. <laughs> and gosh, it's getting dark here, but I do have a little light on here now. So you can see me, but it's probably getting time that I need to let you. At least I'll end up with clean windows. Yes, Anne, if, if nothing else fails, it'll clean the windows. Yes, good point, Anne. I used to let the children paint on the windows. I don't know whether Ben or Sam remembers that. Um, and yes, yeah, I'm a great one. I, I sellotape the rainbows to the windows when it was the last lockdown. I, I'm a great one for thinking about doing doing it and then cleaning it up afterwards, another matter. But soap on the windows, so curd soap, that is my homework to look up what that is so I can tell you about it. The car sales centres use white shoe polish to write on windows. Oh, Janice. Oh, wow. Oh, Janice is going in the book. <laughs> wow. I'm going to try and make this glue book flat. Oh, flat, but will that, will it be flat? I don't know. I'm going to write this, that there. Janice. Hold on. Can you see me? Janice says... White shoe polish. Wow. White shoe polish. Oh, loving that. Huh. Thanks. Brilliant. So if I can't get the curd soap, it sounds like something that curd, curds and whey, sounds like a little byproduct of milk, doesn't it? I don't know. I would have maybe something... A sheep product? Ah, oh, Gail, yes. Yes, I'm just about to go. Goodness me. Gail, Gail, thank you. So Gail and thank you so much for your company this morning. It's been it's been lovely. Ah, oh, I have enjoyed my Monday so much. We have red double double decker buses and, and a phone here in your town in Oxford. It, does MS, what does MS stand for? Massachusetts? Somebody bought the double-decker bus over. They must have done, mustn't they? Of course, we have an Oxford here in Oxfordshire. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you, your, your man was stationed in Oxford during the war, Alicia. Oh, wow. Okay. Gosh. Oxford is a beautiful city. Well, obviously, when it when it's wartime, that, so that was a different matter. Yes. Hmm. They had them shipped over. They shipped the bus and the double day. That's brilliant. I love that. You're, you're at the University of Mississippi. Mississippi, uh, MI is Mississippi. Oh, okay. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Oh, Cara, Kimberly, Kimmers, <laughs> as we're calling you. Oh, thank you. You can buy curd soap on Amazon. Thank you, Anne. And oh, thank you, Anne. You're going to have a go, Anne. Oh, wow. <laughs> it looks fun. It looks like child's play. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a pleasure. That's a pleasure. Goodbye, everybody. And I can't show you Freddie because he's wandered off, probably because it's dark and getting ready. I'm going to go and pick my car up now. Hopefully the garage earlier were phoning me to say it's ready and not that it's falling to bits. <laughs> yes, Teresa, well said. Hugs to everybody. Oh, da, it has been a wonderful morning. Janet, Barbara, goodbye. Oh, don't let me miss anybody. And, oh, I haven't done a prize draw. Has everybody gone yet? Can we do that before I forget? 
star yours yours book's going oh if if um if someone's just gone can you oh can we put numbers in before everybody goes oh have i left it too late pop numbers in i'll say go oh look at me saying goodbye and and i hope everybody hasn't gone now it was kimberly kimberly 557 if um she she just went i think just before can you put, can you pop a number in for kimberly 557 please if 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 i forget everybody pop some numbers in for other people that have been here mm, goodness me i nearly forgot yes please um as laura said yesterday please remind me Mm. And I will see you at the hop on Friday that's starting at quarter to six in the morning central time with Mary. And six o'clock in the morning, that's when I will be there. <laughs> Our theme this week is for the hop is making things to sell at a Christmas fair, not selling at a Christmas fair. But just to give ideas for gifts and things for people to make. Right, OK, let me get the random thingy up. Oh, I'm glad I didn't forget that. Goodness me, I'm impressed by myself. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, what random? Random. Random search. Lovely. I'll put stop. Between one and a hundred and you've got to get up. You know that, yeah, you've done it. You know. I'll put stop, but if that's it. There we are. There we are. Okay. Um, oh, I've defined the word random. No, I don't want to do that. I want the random generator. Random number generator. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Can't believe I nearly forgot that. Ren random number generator. Yes, so we'll see you Friday. Starts and then in the evening it starts again at six o'clock with Mary. And we've got lovely Laurie there coming and Beth's on making pumpkins and Laura and Anne. This is in the evening and Shelley and Laurie. And Mary, that's in the evening. And then we've got Liz in the morning after me, it's Lucia and Lizzie and Aunt Bex and Kathy. That's in the morning. So Friday, I will see you, if not before, at the hop. We'll be hopping around. Now, where is that number generator? Number generator. Do I have an Alexa? Do I? I don't. I've got a Sonos. Maybe I could do it. OK, I've got it here between one and a hundred. Everybody ready? Yep, yep. And 35. Number 35. Nearest or under. Number 35. Look, my age again. 35. Now, are you helping me? Who's 35 or nearest to under? You see, I think a lot of people had gone. Naughty Janet. 10 for Crafty Kitty. 35. Oh, um, gone over. I saw a 27. Is 27 the number to... Hold on, I'm not very good at this. I think Joyce from Able to Rejoice. Oh, and Hildegun has 27. And does Joyce have it too? Have I got... It's... Oh, looks like number 20. You're saying it looks like number 27. Hildegun. Thank you. Hildegun, how lovely. Is there a way that I can get your address, Hildegun? How, what a super way to send happy mail because I haven't sent happy mail to Hildegan before. So, yippee, <laughs> yippee, yee-haw. Reminder, 
All hopping vote and schedule will be posted in Fibsville and on Mary's community tab. Thank you, Janet. Yes. Yes. Starts this Friday at quarter to six in the morning and then it starts again at, at six o'clock central time in the evening too and goes on. Thank you, Janet, for that. Hildegan, let me know your address. Contact me in some way. Are you on line, Hildegan? Are you do we need to swap email addresses or what do we need to do? Oh look at that. I've got another YouTube channel to recommend to you. You probably know this person anyway, but I've been enjoying her. Is she called Miss? Lina, it's called, she's Lena, her name is, and it's Miss Linux 2010. So she's, it's a lovely channel. And she's such a joy to listen to. And she's making handbag journals. Her journals like cardboard and it's a handbag. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Well, Hilda Gunn, you you find a way to... Um, get in touch with me. Beth might be able to help me. Lena is very talented and she tells stories. Ooh, I haven't heard a story. I've only found her this week. Yes. Wow. Um, we'll see if we can find and put a link in next week. I'll, I'll remember. If I put things down, I remember. <laughs> well, Hilda, thanks. I'll try to send my address to you. You can contact me on Messenger, Hildegan, or do you want me to pop my email in quickly? Um, you'd like a link to Miss Lennox 2010. If anybody's able to do that, um, ah, there we are, Joyce. Thank you. Um, Joyce is written in her name properly. Joyce, would you like me to make you a mod so you're able to put links in? Um, let me know if you do. I've got a bit of a lag here. So, hmm. Hilda, can I can always put my, um, you link backwards. <laughs> Oh, there you go. I'll do that with the Joyce. And you can always do that. If you don't do it now, you can do it another time. Because I think every ad as moderator, getting clever now. Mm -hmm. I can always take you off that if you if that's not what you want me to do. Um, right. So without further ado. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. And thank you, Janice. Lovely, lovely. It's lovely to discover new channels, isn't it? New people. And I'll see you at those. And obviously, if you want to pop over to Rebecca's now, you can get on the bus to Rebecca's uh, stream too. That's, she's a lovely person to go and watch. So without further ado, I will say goodbye and I will see you Friday at the hop. If not before, I will see you on other people's channels, on, on other people's lives. Goodbye, everybody. And have a really good week. Uh, oh, and Dar, I need to find your address somehow. I don't think I even know your surname. Um, maybe Laura will be able to help me. Find, you'll find a way to contact one another. Messaged me. <laughs> oh, goodbye, everybody. Thank you.